Call Saul. This is season six, episode eight. I'm going to try my hardest in pushing out the rest of Better Call Saul. The season is almost done. I have to give you a big shout out and thank you to everybody who was sharing, liking, and commenting on the last reaction. The last reaction was crazy. Um, the, I could not believe that one of our main characters died in such a horrible way. I felt comp I felt so bad. It was one of those moments. At the moment, I didn't know what to say, and then later on, as I was editing the film, I was like, "This is really effing sad." Um, but I'm very happy that all you guys really tuned up and and showed out on the last reaction. Thank you guys so much once again. Before we get into this reaction, please run it up, run it up. Hit that like button. Please share this reaction, and don't forget always to comment down below. We'll be wrapping up better better call souls. So let's wrap it up a really strong way with all of you better call soul fans just coming in and let's talk about these episodes and let's share this moment together. Once again, thank you guys so much for being here. If you would like to see this in a full reaction, guys, I have that for you. This will be available in a full reaction on my second third tier here on the YouTube platform as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, please sign up to one of those platforms and help support the channel today. I'm ready to jump into Better Call Saul and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Boo! What's going on? The, oh, the beginnings always like getting confused. Somebody shoot. Is that what's his face? No, it's not. God, this can't be Howard. That is Howard. Sit. Come on. Sit. I didn't. Never. I only worked for you in the desert. I was on your side the Shh, whole time. I don't care. You two. You two in your mouths, Dios mio. My car's downstairs. Press the clicker and you'll find it. Don't weave. Don't cut anyone off. Just, you know, drive nice. I'd take 40 east, get off at Carlisle, take the third left. The rest, I drew a little map for you. Park a little down the street, not out in front. It's a quiet neighborhood, so you'll have plenty of options. Happy friends. Stay in the glove compartment. I left you a present. There's a camera and there's a gun. It's very easy. It's a revolver. It's already loaded. No safety. It's idiot proof. Be casual like a stroll, you know? Keep the gun somewhere behind you where they can't see it. They look through the people. You're as innocent as can be. Point and you shoot. And you keep on pulling that trigger until it's empty. A lawyer. And not a killer, but look, you can do this, okay? This act medium height, short hair, glasses. Even a house cat can scratch. So, that's it. Make a picture. One where I can see the face clearly. Me and Mrs. Goodman will be waiting for you. <gasps> and then you're done. Ten minutes to do the job. Let's call it an hour altogether. So, she should do it. Jimmy. He looks through his peephole in the middle of the night and he sees me. Maybe he calls the cops. Either way, that door stays shut. But he sees a woman. I mean, you'd open the door for her, wouldn't you? Stop. Stop. Doesn't Look, this doesn't even make any sense. I, I've, uh, I've never shot a gun before. I, I, I can't. I can't do it. She can do it. You know no, she can Jimmy, do it. You I'll know stay. I'm Stop. right. Hey, Yo, fine. Yeah, up. her. Whatever. Give her the keys. Give her the address. Let's go. I'm going to cry, I think. I knew this was gonna happen. Something bad gonna happen to her. I know something's gonna happen to her. You're gonna need your shoes, right? Okay, so one hour starting now. Free better not kill her. How does a chichifo like you land a girl like that? What to do with you? That's it. Nice camera work. You know, after I saw you last, armed men, in the middle of the night, to my home, and you know what they did? They killed people I care about. Butchered my housekeeper, Yolanda. Not Yolanda. cabron. How did these men get into my home, do you know? Ignacio Varga. He let them in. And who did Ignacio introduce me to? You. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I barely know Ignacio. Whatever he did, he did alone, not with me. <coughs> Save it. I'm gonna come back. 
<laughs> and then you are going to tell me the whole story. I mean, already too much, in fact. Poor Taurus. Jim Fort. So, I had a date with him. What'd you find out? He was by a felon. Where was he born? You what? You find me Tom Payne. Well, I care who he is. Oh, well, I didn't read by him yet, only about him. But I made a list. He's rabbit. Think you're so smart, huh? He used to play shortstop for the Braves, didn't he? Stay calm. Yeah. Who is killing who? Lalo Salamanca. He's there. He is there with Jimmy. Salamanca's now. at your apartment? Yes, he sent me. Miss Wexley, you stay with me. What were you supposed to do here? Shoot him. I'm, I'm supposed to shoot him. We have 20 minutes left, please. Uh, he is alone with him. You stay put. We'll handle this. You said you were watching us. Where were you? Two. You stay with him. A dog barks too loud, you are on the phone with me. You two, come with me. Uh, to get that open. He is smart. He is very smart. You always have somebody at the camera. Dum dum. Because he knew, he knew that they weren't going to be able to do that. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Put her on. Right. He's got to figure it out. Why did Lalo send you? Who is this? Answer the question, girl. He wanted to send my husband. But my husband talked him out of it. He talked Lalo out of it. That's right. Come with me, both of you. He knows, oh shit. Can't get a clear look inside. Blinds are down. Everyone else on me, eyes sharp. Nice and easy. We don't want to spook the neighbors. Gag is gonna come off, and I need to ask you a question, and I need you to answer it quietly. Got it? All right. I need to know where Salamanca went, and I need to know exactly how long he's been gone. I don't know where he went. He left right after she did. Eladio, mira nada más a quién tenemos aquí. Y con armadura, qué mal que no hagan armadura para la cabeza, verdad? Vamos a estar al lado de su alberca, despellejando a esta víbora. Pulgada, pero pues se aparece aquí ahora. Y... ¿Quién soy yo para despreciar un regalo? Una gran máquina esconde un gran secreto. Trece minutos antes de que llegue su gringo pelón y la caballería. Así que, Gustavo, 
Nos va a dar un tour rápido. Como decía, Gustavo nos va a llevar a conocer. Yo tenía una tina que hacía algo muy parecido, pero... Honor a quien honor merece, eso está mucho mejor. ¿Qué tal eso? ¡Wow! ¿No? Usaron 200 libras de explosivos y cavaron más de 120 mil metros cúbicos de tierra. La verdad es que muy chingón, ¿eh? Piensa en el laboratorio que se podría hacer aquí, don Eladio. ¿Qué podría ser? Ese era su plan. Sacarlo a usted y volverse el jefe. He dicho a ese ser, don Eladio, lo que pienso de él. Uh -huh. Eladio, el patrote hinchado y grasoso. Una palabra callejera. Peleando por sobras tiene más honor. Sin visión, ni paciencia, ni idea. Estúpido. ¡Impulsivo! Los salamancas son peores parásitos que hay. Héctor, I kept them alive, but he dies. He will know. I buried every one of you. You done? No. Not yet. Mr. Frank, I uh, just walked through the door. I'm not running late, am I? No, Lyle. Punctual as always. I won't be in today, I'm sorry to say. In fact, you won't be seeing me all week. I need you to act as store manager in my stead. Sure, yes, I can do that. Would you be able to set next week's schedule by close tomorrow? I will adjust your pay for the extra hours upon my return. Please let me know. I know I have nothing to worry about. The restaurant is in your capable hands. Doc just crossed the border. He'll be here in three hours. How'd you know Lala would be at the laundry? I didn't. Well, the next time you get a wild hair to play detective, tell me. <laughs> this could have gone down a whole lot different. It could have. Frank, like, remember who's your boss. Are they gonna put his body in there? What are you doing? You're getting a new refrigerator. Arthur. Yeah, Mike. Gloves on. Downstairs, Green Jaguar, vanity plates. It goes to the warehouse. Done? But he said he was. He told me. You understand me. He is not coming back. In a few days, Howard Hamlin's car will be found several states away by the water. There will be cocaine in the upholstery. That's the story you were setting up for this guy, yeah? At some point, you're gonna hear about it. Someone calls you, someone at the courthouse mentions it. His car was here for hours last night. Good chance somebody noticed it. You tell the cops, you saw him. He came here. Seemed like maybe he was chemically altered. Miss Wexler tells me she has court at 10. What's on your docket? Oh, my car is gone. No, it's on the way home. You'll have it when you need it. No staring into space, nothing out of the ordinary, you cover. When you get home, we'll be gone and everything will be back the way it was. None of this ever happened. None. None of it. None. Before I shut that door, is there anything you need from the other room? Toiletries, clothes, anything to start your day? No.
had nothing to do with any of this. Easy. Um, the ending of that episode was dreadful. Um, Howard dying the way he did, and then how they play those music. And as you can see, at the end of your time here, you never know how you're going to exit. Um, he had nothing to do with nothing. This man literally is being tormented by Kim and by Jimmy slash Saul. And to tell you the honest truth, I never understood really why the why even why they went that hard towards Howard. I did not. I never understood it. Never. So it was really uh, sad to see that's how his story ended with those two doing what they did to him and then him being shot by somebody he doesn't even know and then being end up being buried with him, not even at a gravesite where anybody could remember him, but in a freaking lab place where we now it even is even more weird to see Breaking Bad and knowing that Howard is underneath there the whole time. And Lalo. And Lalo was a great character, but he needed to go. He was a menace to society. I didn't think he was gonna, as soon as I saw Fring go to the laundromat, I knew Lalo's story was going to end in this episode, but I thought they were gonna drag it out and Lalo was gonna die closer to the, the finale of the season because now I'm like, well, what's going to happen like, I know Kim is the next biggest character to die, or she leaves altogether. Something dreadful is going to happen to Kim. Um, this is forever going to change Kim and Saul. Like, we see what Saul is. Saul seems to... In Breaking Bad, I always just go back to Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, Saul is just the same type of character how he is here. But I think this is definitely going to break Kim. I don't think... Actually, I don't think Kim is going to die. I think Kim is going to leave. Um, there's no way Kim could actually... She, what she went through, there's no way that she could stay. I just don't see her staying. I also don't know who the big bad... A person could be moving forward um, what is going to drive the rest of this season I'm sure when you guys seen this episode you probably at the ending of it not only did you probably want to cry like I did or maybe you have no emotions and you're heartless um, <laughs> whatever it is that, that you went through no I'm joking no shade no shade tick, tick, tick. Um, but what I don't know you probably all came to the same consensus of like well, now where are we going to go? What's going to happen? We know Fring is going to be fine because he's in another show. Mike is going to be fine because he's in another show. All our main players of the whole season are, like, pretty much wrapped up at this point. So what's going to happen in, what is it? Is it 13 episodes or is there 12? What's going to happen in the rest of these episodes? Who is going to be the driving force? I hope it's going to be action-packed. But I just don't see what could happen that could be action-wise. I feel like what we're going to now do is keep on this emotional path, which I kind of hope we don't do, because it will draw me to be just, like, drained by the ending of this season. I hope there is more action in this season, um, because that is what I really want to see. I do not want to be crying every other episode. I just don't want to do it. But as I said, there is no main characters that are left that gives you the <gasps> what's going to happen phase. You guys probably obviously know, so comment down below, but shh, no spoilers. Um, thank you guys so much for being part of this reaction. This has been a crazy journey. I feel like, I, I feel like they could have wrapped it up over here, you know, maybe a couple more episodes, two more episodes, and then bye bye But they decided to keep it a little bit longer. But, um, anyways, I'm off this. I got a lot more things to do today. Thank you guys so much for being part of this reaction. Please like this video. Please share this video. Don't forget to comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time with more Better Call Saul. Bye!